Hello, my name is Ramesh Krishnamurthy. Welcome to my life page. I am going to be talking about natural resource management. Before that, let me introduce myself. I started my career as a zoologist studying at AVC College in Mailardrai and then studied wildlife biology for my masters. That got me to Wildlife Institute of India as a researcher. I came here in 1995 studying wild animals in Great Mall National Park in Himachal Pradesh. Thereafter, I continued working on various wild animals including ungulates, pheasants and then moved down to Tarai Ark landscape where I studied tiger and other associate species along with the reputed scientists at the Wildlife Institute. In 2008, I joined the Wildlife Institute as a faculty member. Since then, I have been working on various aspects. Three of my major activities are landscape ecology, species recovery strategies and integration technology in wildlife research and management. I have also been leading many of these important projects such as tiger reintroduction in places like Madhya Pradesh in Central India and also other states like uh, Odisha. Very recently, I have been involved in translocation of tiger from Madhya Pradesh to Odisha and also trying to reintroduce tiger in many places in the country as a part of active recovery for this very important species which is our national animal. It is about managing our surroundings. I think all of us depend on natural resources for everything. Even when we talk about we want to become a global power and uh, you know getting into much more uh, you know advanced situation in terms of money and other things, it all comes from the natural resources. If we do not manage our natural resources properly, we may not be able to grow the way we want to grow, although the growth may look a little artificial now. So in, in specific terms, natural resource management is about our environment and managing its uh, species, animals and plants and their habitat. And uh, because the way we manage the natural resources, we will be able to plan our growth in a way that is more sustainable for all of us. Environment management is also a kind of a discipline which is linked to natural resource management because it talks about its air, water, in, in climate change kind of situations. So people who have environment management discipline also can be involved in the natural resource management profession. Because nature involves plants, animals and in environment, first skill that will be required for people to understand the area, which means trying to identify the species itself. What kind of species, what is its name, whether it's animal, whether it's a plant and also about the surrounding. It's a service profession. It is not a profession which is only geared to make you a someone who can make money. It's a profession to make you realize how you can be connected to the nature. Okay. It allows anyone who is involved in the profession to be connected to the nature and it's a more of a noble profession where you are contributing to enable quality of life for the animals and plants and its environment and in the process quality of life for all the human being. Okay. It enables us to live a life which is sustainable for years to come rather than a fast life. You are required to be out in the field. So it is not a fixed tenure time. Therefore, your time may not be like fixed to like 9 to 5. So you might be required to be out in an unfixed time schedule. Actually, it, it, it can be separated in two ways. When you are an independent researcher, your day in life is mostly out in the field. Uh, you get up and you try to see your whatever the task that you have to see animals and pick up your binoculars or pick up your camera and other tools that is required to collect information. You go out in the field and look at information, come back and then stay in the campsites. That used to be the day uh, in life when you were a researcher out in the field. But when you are in this profession, when you are trying to be a scientist like this, it has got multiple uh, activities. You have to be here in office and try to understand and try to provide uh, input to your students and uh, maybe run into the field, forest areas, try to uh, provide inputs like, like I said, like the trans tiger translocation or teach the students in the field. 
and there are also teaching involved here. So we also teach. In fact, Wildlife Institute, we do have a lot of teaching uh, to be done uh, as a capacity building. There are also activities that we need to do uh, for the forest officers, okay, as a part of the capacity building activities. I mean, as I said, uh, there is no fixed schedule in a day. So you just go and then sometime you have a plan activity, sometime you have unplanned activity which is required by the institute. Uh, and in addition to that, whenever we get time, so at least whenever we are at the institute, we get to play games in the evening and maybe once in a while we get to travel together with family. Sometime family can also come with you to the forest area, which is a sometimes a bonus for the family. So for the for marrying the wildlifeers or people who are involved in natural resource management. I hope I have given you a balanced uh, view on natural resource management. Thank you.